Biden, Trump, no in-person audience, no holding back. He could be a convicted felon as soon as he gets out of office. What are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. From immigration. When he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages. We had the safest border in the history of our country. The board, all he had to do was leave it. To inflation. You got to take a look at what I was left when I became president and what Mr. Trump left me. We had an economy that was in free fall. We had the greatest economy in the history of our country. Uh, we have never done so well. Nothing was off limits. I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. So think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties? Tonight, reaction from the first presidential debate of 2024. Well, a historic showdown between President Biden and former President Donald Trump. And thanks for joining us after the debate tonight. I'm Trisha Keene. And I'm Joe Moeller. The two candidates were on stage in Atlanta to discuss a wide range of issues many Americans have. Our senior political reporter Steve Sebelius sits down with voters on their thoughts on tonight's presidential debate. Hey there, Steve. Hey, Joe and Trisha. Thanks uh, for sending it to us. Listen, uh, we've been watching the entire debate uh, here, uh, these, uh, these three uh, together. I, I think the first question is, who do you think did better? Um, Suzette, let's start with you. Yeah, I think Trump, uh, former President Trump, had the better performance. Um, unfortunately, there was a lot of blame game either way and a lot of lie, 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 but o overall, Trump did better. Uh, sure. Patty Farley, independent, what do you think? Um, I would have to agree with Suzette. I think the performance by Trump far exceeded Biden's ability tonight. Yeah. And, and Lori, you're a Democrat. It might be hard for you to say, but who did better, do you think? No, it's very easy for me to say. It's hard to say um, who did well. Biden stumbled quite a bit, um, kind of got lost in his words, but Trump didn't answer questions and he came across as just like a baby. Hmm. Um, we were talking before air what uh, we were listening for that we didn't hear. There was there was a lot of subjects covered, uh, but there were certain subjects that weren't covered. One one of the things, Suzette, that you brought up was education. I don't think I've uh, heard a presidential debate where the words education what were mentioned. Yeah, it's really disappointing because our education system is is really in shambles and needs a lot of help. And yeah, not not one word uttered about education. Hmm. Uh, uh, Patty, were you, were you listening for something you didn't hear? Um, well, I think the economy, inflation, um, I think we heard child care, but then we got wrapped up in whose ego was bet better, bigger and better on, a, on different subjects. And the, even though the moderators kept going back and forth trying to get them to answer the questions, both of them missed the opportunity to address the American people at a, on a kitchen table issue that it affects how we live and how we um, pay our bills, and I think that was a huge miss on both gentlemen's part. Laura, you kind of won the bingo card because you mentioned rent as an issue beforehand. Rent was mentioned, but did you hear enough to really uh, tell you who was uh, better on that issue? Yeah, I mean, we liked hearing rent caps. Our, my organization has worked with the White House on creating the uh, Renters' Bill of Rights, and so definitely rent caps is part of that, and also acknowledging uh, people being unable to afford their rent, a lot of that is lent to greed. Um, I think we've heard the term greedflation. So it was good to hear that. I definitely want to be able to hear more. And I think it would be smart, smart for the Biden White House to dig into that because Trump is one of the most notorious slumlords in our country. Hmm. Um, uh, Suzette and Patty, both of you are, are businesswomen. Uh, you're out there uh, running businesses all the time. Um, uh, from that perspective, what, what do you think about this debate? Who would be better for business uh, of the two candidates you saw tonight? Um, so I think we're in a great position because both have been held the presidency. Um, Trump, by far and away, is better economically. Um, the last four years have been abysmal for businesses, and I, I, I'm not um, enthusiastically looking for us to continue what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. So Trump is far better. Yeah, and I think, you know, from a kitchen table standpoint, I read some, some numbers that it's costing families over $11,000 more a year just to provide food and rent. Like this inflation is, is costing eleven to $13,000 more a year. I feel it. I, I get it. I, I see it in my bills as well. And I think Trump is better, uh, better in tune to help uh, calm inflation and, and uh, raise the tide and improve the business uh, environment that we have. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we we're in Las Vegas. There we talked about immigration. That's a big issue for, uh, of importance to Las Vegas. Who did better on that, do you think? 
Oh gosh, definitely. I feel President Biden, I, you know, I think he's articulated um, the work that he's attempted to do at the border, how he's been met with um, just a wall of political um, gamemanship in the House. Um, Trump just, you know, his first year in office was a Muslim ban, but that's his approach uh, to immigration. And I think, like Suzette is saying, you know, they've both been in office, so we can kind of, or excuse me, Patty said that, they've both been in office so we can see what they've done. And, People have seen what Trump has done. He yeah. has referenced not only the Muslim ban, but referred to black immigrants as coming from as whole countries and other vulgarities, just showing that, you know, some people aren't worth his time. All right. We'll have to leave it right there. Thank you all for uh, coming down and watching the debate with us. Uh, Joe and Trisha, we'll send it back to you.